Beast single. Oh, wow, yeah, a classic. Yeah, oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah, oh. Beauty and the Beast musical. Uh, practicing their lines and you know practicing their songs. Uh, this is one of the movies that I'd like to watch you know, over and over again. Kind of trust God, um, believing his support. I think this okay. verse um, kind of give me comfort and assurance that God is with me. Hello everybody at JCS, welcome to Chapel Time. Today we have a very special guest. Uh, we have one of the most popular teachers from elementary school. We have Miss Ina. Hi, hi everyone. Hi JCS. It's uh, very good to have you here. How are you feeling today? Oh, thank you for having me here. Actually, I'm very nervous. It's my first time you know, here on Story Lab, but mm -hmm. I'm grateful to have this opportunity to you know, say hi to especially those who haven't you know seen me or are not familiar with me okay very good uh i think this opportunity is really good because mm -hmm. um you know you're always in the uh, elementary wing but mm -hmm. you don't have that many chances to speak with the middle schoolers and the high schoolers mm -hmm, right. and this is one area where you can really uh really get to let them ha uh, get to know you right yeah. right would you briefly introduce yourself yes so hi um i'm ina kim and i'm uh, teaching first, second, and third graders um, English and art subject here in school. And so for those who are not familiar with me, I'd like to introduce myself using this pictures over here on the screen. So as you see here, um, there's this worm with a book and there's something like nature and there's ice cream. So um, can I'd I guess the first one? Yes. <laughs> what does, do you does, think? does that mean you're a bookworm? Yes, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I'm a bookworm. I'm a lover of books, um, nature, and I'm an ice cream mania. So, I would you know describe myself as an introverted person. So, as long as I have food and ice cream at home, I will have no problem just reading books the whole day and you know the whole week. Quarantine won't be a problem for me. <laughs> so, wow, uh, ice cream. Do you have a favorite flavor of ice cream? Um, yes, I like to go to the B. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> B. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm aware of that place. Yeah, okay. yeah. Brand ice cream, and usually I get mint chocolate, mint chocolate, um, New York cheesecake, and like rainbow chavet. <laughs> oh, okay. Those are the th your top three choices. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites is uh, mm. is a uh, 바람과 함께 사라지다. Yeah, oh, I, I really yeah. like that one. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. Yeah, I like yeah, cheesecake. Really good. Okay. May I ask, uh, since you're a bookworm, uh, what are some of your favorite books? Books. Um, recently, I've uh, read Tante's Shingo. Oh, wow, yeah, a classic. Yeah, oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah, oh, I love okay. classics. <laughs> wow. It was it's really interesting. You know, there are nine stages of the, you know. Right. Yeah. yeah. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to take a look at um, some of the pictures that you've taken in the past. Mm -hmm. And um, if you could. Uh, Explain to us just uh, what's going on here, who you're with, where you're going, and any additional information. Okay, so if you see this, this picture over here, this girl in the middle is me. I think I was seven or eight years old back then. And the boy in the right who looks just like me is my brother. Um, he's a year younger than me. And we have been in this love and hate relationship for a long time. And yeah. and. As you, you know, if you look closer, we're in this, um, we're sitting in this, you know, um, car, but it has no windows or doors. So back then, um, not many people had this kind of, you know, car. So we thought it was really cool, but uh, we had to be always mindful of the weather conditions. So mm. my dad was really <laughs> sensitive about it because yeah. once it rains, like the situation gets really interesting. <laughs> yeah. Wait, was this in Korea? Yeah. Oh, no. It was back when I was in the Philippines. It I grew was in up the there. Philippines. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. About how old were you when you uh, first went to the Philippines? Uh, about five years old. About five years I was old. really young. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> so this isn't too far from where you first moved? Do you remember how this old like you were? This is like our first house when we oh, moved yeah, there. Oh, your very first yeah. house. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. 
Okay, next, uh, please share your thoughts and feelings about the time you spend with your students mm -hmm. through one of the photographs that you chose. Uh, please explain to us uh, what's going on here. Okay, so this picture is uh, was taken in our recent, you know, Beauty and the Beast musical. So these are the first, second, and third graders wherein they perform as fat wares during the uh, musical. So it was really wonderful to see the students, you know, uh, practicing their lines and, you know, practicing their songs and, you know, uh, the dances as well throughout. So they were really young and it was not easy for them to move, you know, in back and forth throughout the uh, rehearsal because they had to wait a lot and, you know, make sure they're right there in their right positions. And they had a lot of things to keep in mind. But then I was really thankful because they were really patient throughout, you know, the whole practice. And they made sure that they're going to make this musical really successful. So mm -hmm. it was you know, a uh, meaningful experience, I guess, for the teachers and for the students as well, because we got to work together as a team. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I think um, every musical that we've had, one of the hardest tasks that we had was mm -hmm. keeping the younger ones under control <laughs> so that they're not going right. everywhere. But at the same time, we're uh, surprised mm -hmm. and Im impressed every time mm -hmm. because they do such a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. So you must have felt very proud when you watched the final uh, final version. Yeah, I was, you know, it was so touching at the same time. And, mm -hmm. you know, it was really, yeah, it was, it felt wonderful. Yeah, okay, <laughs> great. Okay, next, uh, if you can recommend mm -hmm. one of your favorite movies that was especially meaningful to you, mm -hmm. uh, please tell us about it. Okay, yes, so this movie, it's The Shawshank Redemption. Have you seen this, Mr. Cloud? This is one of my favorite movies of all time. I am totally oh. thrilled and psyched oh. that you decided to choose this movie. <laughs> I'm glad you watched it because this is an old movie and I'm not sure if you know the younger students have watched this, but I, this is a great movie. I've watched this a couple of times. Um, I, this is one of the movies that I'd like to watch you know, over and over again. Mm -hmm. So to give you an introduction a little bit about this movie, um, this is a story about the, a guy named uh, Andy Dufresne, and he, he used to be a successful you know, banker, but then one day he ends up in prison uh, for being convicted with a crime which he did not commit. So his life in prison was tough, it was miserable, but he gets to, you know, make friends uh, with fellow prisoners and, you know, he kind of gets to leave his life in prison uh, with ease compared to, like, most of the people inside. So the people were kind of wondering, oh, what's in this guy that, you know, makes him different from the rest of us? So I had this light bulb moment um, in this scene. If you look at the screen over here, oh, the one before that. Yes, so he plays this music um, in this loudspeaker, which had never happened uh, in prison. And mm. you know, the people were all just listening to this uh, music. It was a uh, classic music uh, composed by Mozart. Yes, and you know, um, he plays this music, and people get you know kind of mesmerized with this you know whole atmosphere. And uh, uh, and his friend Red puts it this scene this way, and he narrates it going, it was like some beautiful bird flapped into our drab little cage and made those walls dissolve away. And for the briefest of moments, every last man in Shawshank felt free. So this movie kind of, um, kind of talks about the theme on freedom and hope. So it was uh, really meaningful to me in, the some, in some way because it made me like think about uh, what freedom is and uh, yes because your body is in a cell it doesn't mean like you're really you know caged or not free so mm. it made me think think about freedom so it was really meaningful mm -hmm. you were feeling uh, imprisoned at the time? <laughs> in prison yes. is this the part where he sort of locks the door and blares the move music really loud so that everybody yeah. can hear yeah. yeah very touching moment for sure Wow, thanks for sharing that uh, part mm. with us. Please tell us about your favorite Bible verse. Yes. So my favorite Bible verse is Psalms 23. Yes, verse 1 to 6. So I want to read this verse for a moment. 
says there, um, my, the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So it's quite long, <laughs> but this is one of the verses that I'd always like to, you know, take out. Um, so I memorized the whole thing. Wow. So uh, I've shared this with my kids as well, and like they loved it. And uh, I recall back when I was a kid, you know, our Sunday school teacher uh, made us kind of memorize this verse. Back then, I was like, oh, I hate it. It's so long. <laughs> and so, but then when I grew up, um, this verse kind of help me go through, you know, um, difficult seasons in life um, because, you know, David wrote this and I loved, I loved it how uh, he reflected his experience with God um, when he was uh, back as a shepherd and uh, he relates it uh, by saying, um, God is now my shepherd and I am his sheep and uh, he kind of trust God, um, believing He's the protector of His life and also the uh, source of His you know, being. So uh, for me as well, uh, I think this verse um, kind of give me comfort and assurance that uh, God is with me uh, and that uh, there's nothing that I need to fear because He's in control of my life. Mm. So this verse have, have, must have been very important for you for many years. Mm, right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, that wraps up our program. We, um, how, how do you feel? about? Thank about you, Mr. This? Cloud, for um, <laughs> making this, you know, atmosphere very comfy. <laughs> okay. I think I got to, you know, feel more relaxed. That's towards the end. Yeah, you're actually good at this. We should invite you more often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, thank you, everybody. I, I hope um, everyone learned something new about Miss Ina, and uh, maybe you feel more comfortable with her. And if you see her in the hallways, you know, feel free to say hello. And um, you know, I hope everyone had a good time. And uh, there's our chapel. So, thank you for joining us, everybody, and have a good Friday. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.